I'm an applications engineer here with Hawkbridge Systems. And today, we're going to be talking about how to set up and customize your build platform directly inside of Materialize Magix. Now, Magix is an extremely powerful tool that allows us to take our 3D CAD geometry, bring it in, analyze, and fix any potential issues, and also pack it directly inside of a representation of our printer's build volume. And that's where the build platform comes in. That build platform will allow us to place each of our individual parts, nest them in place, and then either export it out to your printer's slicer or export it directly to your printer. And we'll look at those two methods in just a second. First, let's get started adding a machine directly into your copy of Magix. For this, I'll go to the Build Preparation tab and select on My Machines. Inside of here, you'll notice all the current machines that are available inside of your copy of Magix. To add a new machine, simply select Add from Library, and then search for your manufacturer's machine directly from the list below. In this instance, I'm actually going to be using the HP 540 units. Notice HP does not have this unit yet attached to the build library. If you would like to use a default machine and customize it later, simply scroll to the very bottom of the list, select the default machine, and drag and drop it into your My Machines category to be customized in a second. The other way of adding machine is through your build processor manager. The build processor manager allows you to connect directly to your physical printer and have Magix create the slice file that will be sent to that printer itself. To add machine through the build processor manager, simply select add machine. If the printer is located on the same computer as your uh, current workstation, simply select on the printer down below. Or if you're located on a network, type in the IP address of your printer and click accept. With either of these methods, you'll have your particular machine set up. And now you'll have the ability to go through and customize your build platform settings. To customize these settings, you'll actually have to create a new scene. From the Build Preparation tab, I'll select on New Scene, choose the machine you would like to customize, and click OK. Now you'll notice that the Machine Properties tab is available. Opening up the Machine Properties tab will give you the ability to customize this machine however you see fit. In my case, I'm just putting in the basic parameters for our 540 unit, such as the size of the build volume. For this, I'm just putting in the basic parameters of our HP 540 unit, such as the size of the build volume. If you would like to get more information from Magix, such as the total cost or the total time estimation, you'll have those columns directly on the left to fill out as well. From here, you can push apply and OK. And now you'll have your particular build platform established. Again, this is just the 3D representation of the build volume itself. Simply adding your parts in and then nesting it will allow you to quickly and easily prepare your file for print. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and please make sure to like and subscribe to the Hawkbridge Systems YouTube channel for more educational content such as this.